So I have a word of encouragement for you. This is a word. I, I think encouragement is the wrong description of what this word is. Um, but if you bear with me, I want to get you somewhere. I want to get you somewhere. And a lot of times, if you've ever listened to any of my previous videos, I talk about helping you get your stuff. And the Holy Ghost has since um, added to like the fullness of that word. And what I want you to do, what I want to help you do, I'm sorry, is to help you, to encourage you, to keep you, to teach you, to press you into the fullness of the manifestation of God's goodness for your life. That that is that is my assignment here. So as God is dealing with me, right? As God is dealing with me, teaching me, encouraging me, imparting to me, I am releasing to you what thus saith the Lord to me. So I posted a video um, a few days ago that has gotten a lot of views, right? And that video is called, um, This Time is Different, right? And this is what the Holy Ghost started to talk to me about, right? Because I am in and since that word, I've talked about the new thing. I've talked about the us keeping up with the new thing. I've talked about the, the, the new thing is us walking in the goodness, uh, in God's goodness. The new thing is us walking in God's goodness. The new thing is us owning that position of faith, right? And there is a language, there is a language that we have to speak to for that thing to be a reality in our lives, right? We have to move, and I've said this before, but we have to move from the place of receiving into the place of having. The reason why this time is different is because we are operating from a place of having. As we are God's children positioned in the promised land, waiting for the fullness of the of our promised land to manifest in front of us we are here right we should no longer be speaking the language of i receive it when you hear a prophetic word when you hear some encouragement your response to that word should always be from a position of i have it i have it and i'm going to show you a couple of examples of of what of of god ministering that word to me and even now even now in my own life as i am seeing tangible manifestations right i've had to speak the language of having it before i was actually having it and for some of us it's easy according to mark 11 22 through 24 to speak the language of believing it's easy to speak the language of receiving it is completely different to speak the language of having having it sounds that that's too close to crazy like that's too close to crazy like i can't say i have money if i don't have it like i can't tell my landlord i have you know what i'm saying but here's the thing right so much of that is talking from a place of being reactive instead of being proactive right a lot of that is is talking from the place this is why okay thank you jesus so this is why we keep getting in those pressing moments is that we have been missing it, right? I talked about us missing it. And a lot of our response to what we are going through is a very reactive response. When we speak the language that life goes well for me, that word affects every single area of our life. That word affects every single area of our lives. When we speak the language that life goes well for me, when we speak the language of living in the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, like I'm living in the goodness of the Lord, when we speak having it, when we are no longer receiving good health, when we are no longer receiving health, when we are no longer receiving provision, when we are no longer receiving when we speak the language of having the earth starts to shift the earth will accommodate us and let me help you with something right because i i said this before in a previous word that i released the wilderness was never a part of the plan for as far as god is concerned with the children of israel when god talked to moses about his plan for the children of israel god was very clear to moses that i will lead the children of israel out of the land of bondage out of egypt into a land flowing with milk and honey into the land of canaan right the wilderness was the byproduct of the children of israel not being able to own and possess canaan because they could not in faith receive the fact that a caning was for them, their punishment was to wander 
in the wilderness. And even then God had to give them a nudge and say, you've been wandering around this mountain for too long. And let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Part of why having is so difficult is because when we speak the language of having, when we speak the language of possessing, guess what? We get backlash. We get counterattack. Cause listen to this, listen to this in Canaan, in, in Canaan, there were giants, right? In Canaan, there were the warfare was in Canaan. We already know that there was, was oppression in Egypt. There was no warfare in the wilderness. That's why they was chilling. That's why they were okay there. So you understand? So when you start, when you start to speak the language of I have this thing, I got it, this healing, this healing, it's mine, I got it. Wholeness in my mind, I got it. Good health, I got it. Let me tell you something, right? The giants. The giants of sabotage, the giants of delay, the giants of defeat, they start getting stirred up because they're like, no, no, we've we, we been here for a minute. No, we've been here for a minute. So if you want to come, all right, but, but we're going to have to coexist. That's not the plan. That's not the plan. Compromise can't stay. Sickness can't stay. Lack can't stay. You understand what I'm saying? You're not welcome here. I prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers. You understand what I'm saying? Not, I receive prosperity. No, I prosper. I prosper. I be in good health even as my soul. No, this is it now. This is it now. This is it now. And those giants, I just want to help you with this because they're going to get stirred up. They, they going to start feeling some type of way, right? So you have to prepare yourself to stay in ownership. Stay, listen, stay in possession, stay in possession. This thing is not on us. It's on God. I already told you that God promised the children of Israel. I'm going to drive the giants out of the land. Stay in faith, stay in faith. Don't move. Keep having it. Keep having it every single day, every single minute. It's mine. I got it. This time is different in the name of Jesus. This time is right now different in the name of Jesus. And I promise you, I promise you, the earth will accommodate you. The earth will move for you. The tangibleness of what you are having will manifest for you. We have perfected believing. We know how to hop under every video and receive. I beseech you to operate, to move, to be, to possess the language of having. I got this thing. I got this thing. This marriage, this situation, I got it. It's mine. It's right now. It's mine. It's mine. Abram answered to a name that he had never answered for for 99 years. You, you, let's wonder how many times somebody said Abram after his name had been changed to Abraham. Let's wonder how many times he answered to Abraham as opposed to Abram at first. But guess what? That thing clicked and out came Isaac. Out came, this is our faith father. This is our faith father. This is our faith father. So guess what? We're going to have to have it by faith. You understand what I'm saying? The manifestation does not happen by default. Kairos does not happen by default. You have to possess it by faith. You got it. You got it. It's yours right now in Jesus' name.